Hi everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty and today we are actually going to make a craft project rather than a sewing project. We are going to make these fantastic Dollar Tree Christmas votive candle holders. How cute are these? I saw these on Pinterest and thought they would be a fantastic little project to share with all of you. They are so simple to make, they only take a few minutes to do, so I thought I would do this video. And as you can see, they sparkle and shine, and everything from here, except for the twine, came from Dollar Tree. And so they're inexpensive too. So let's get started on how to make this project. The first thing that we need is a Dollar Tree votive holder. And it looks like this, and this comes out, and it's got a little votive holder here. I also got at Dollar Tree one of these little votive candles that just fits right inside the little votive holder. And it's a battery operated version of the votive and all you have to do is turn it on and off and there you have it. But you could use a real one if you wanted to but this one came from Dollar Tree and we're sticking with our Dollar Tree theme today. But we're, for now we're going to set that aside. The other things that we're going to need is a little bit of Mod Podge, some glitter, a little bit of twine, a couple of little faux berries and some jingle bells. So in order to get this going, I'm just going to turn my jar upside down, put my other things aside, and I have a large uh, jar of Mod Podge, but believe it or not, you can get little small version of Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. I didn't buy any at Dollar Tree this time because I knew I had this large version here and I can just stick my paintbrush inside and we're just going to paint our jar all the way around as evenly as possible with this Mod Podge. And don't put any Mod Podge on the threads because we're going to be using those threads later. There, and that's all there is to it. We're going to set this aside. And now we're going to add some glitter. Now I have used this little piece of parchment because my glitter is going to get everywhere as it always does and I want to be able to reuse the parts that I don't use for this time around. So I'm just going to stick my hand in here and I'm going to glitter away. And as you can see the glitter is just sticking on here the way that it should and it's giving us that snowy appearance that we're looking for in our votive holder. Look at that. Sparkle and shine. Snowy, snowy day for this. And that's all there is to it. 
and I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. In the meantime, I can put all of this glitter back into my bottle. And use it for my next project. How simple is that? So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our twine. And I have a hot glue gun here and I'm just going to start wrapping my twine around the top of my votive holder. But I'm going to pl place a little bit of hot glue on here so that we can get started. And we're just going to wrap this twine all the way around. Very simple. You could even put some drops of glue along the way if you want to. It's completely up to you. Now I'm going to put another little drop of glue to hold that in place. And there's our twine right where it should be. And then I'm going to just trim off this excess twine. Now the next thing that I'm going to do on this, again I'm going to use my hot glue, is I'm going to hot glue these berries just like that onto my votive holder. Very simple. Hot glue is wonderful. We're just going to hold this in place for a few minutes until this dries. The next thing is we have these jingle bells. And this is a Dollar Tree find as well. I'm going to clip off this excess string from both sides of my jingle bell. Otherwise they're tied together like this. And once again I'm going to hot glue them. right onto the front of my votive. As you can see, they just hang there nice and neat. 
Now, the final step is we're going to cut off a little bit of twine. And we are going to just make a bow. A little bit smaller than that because we want to cover up all these raw edges and besides it looks really cute and we're going to hot glue that on top of these other things And I'm going to clip off these ends. And that's all there is to our decoration for our votive. Bring back our snowy, snowy jar. Turn on our little candle, place it inside, I'm being a little careful here because this is still wet, but we just turn this around until it closes. And there we have it, our lovely little Dollar Tree votive. And now we have two. Perfect. So all you have to do is take five minutes of your time. This is truly a five minute craft. You let that dry and that's done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed this quick five minute Dollar Tree DIY um, Christmas votive craft and hope that you enjoyed it enough to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this. This is a super simple project that anyone with no crafting skills can do. It is just that simple. You can add more greenery to this if you like. I like the simple look. Um, Nice and easy, lovely decoration for your table or anywhere in your home. And use a real candle if you really like the flickering light uh, a little bit stronger than what we have here. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this project. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and head over to www.soberrycrafty.com if you want more Dollar Tree DIYs, and if you're a sewist, lots and lots of sewing and other crafting tutorials. So thank you, goodbye, and have a Merry Christmas. Bye!